So I have a fresh scene here and what I'm going to be doing here is using an array and a curve deform modifier to produce a road. And to make this nice and clean, we want to perform these operations in the x-axis and in the positive direction. And to illustrate that, I'm just going to press shift and space on the keyboard and I'm going to select the transform gizmo. And this red arrow here, which represents the x-axis, is pointing in the positive direction. So we want these operations to go in this direction. Okay, so I'm going to delete the cube and I'm going to do shift A and I'm going to create a plane and I'm going to press tab to go into edit mode and then if I right click I'm just going to subdivide my mesh like that. I'm going to press 2 on the keyboard and select these two edges over here. And I've got snapping turned on but you can turn on snapping by pressing shift tab and if I press E I can extrude out these edges like this and make my road section a little wider. Uh, we do the same thing over here, just press E to extrude. And if I now go into uh, object mode by pressing tab again, you can see my pivot is still uh, at the origin at 0, 0, 0. And it's very important for this process that the, the, the origin or the pivot point of our modular section, our piece of geometry, uh, and the spline or the path that we're going to use share the same pivot point. The pivot point doesn't have to be at the origin, but to start with, we're going to make both at the origin. So the next step of this uh, operation is to go to the modifier panel by clicking on the spanner, and then we're going to simply add a array to our mesh like that. And if we come into object display and come to viewport display, click on wireframe, we can see subdivisions in our mesh. Uh, and it's important to note here that the array by default is adding additional pieces in the positive x axis. So if we go back to my modifier panel, now we can sort of add, say, 50 additional pieces to our array so we have a nice long section of road. So the next step here is to add a path and what I'm simply going to do is press shift 8 and we go to the curve menu and we'll select path and Blender will very conveniently if I press period on the keyboard and I focus on it it will create a path uh, at the 3D cursor and my 3D cursor is currently at the origin uh, at zero, zero, zero. So it's, it's, so by default, what's happened and what we want is the pivot point of our curve and the pivot point of our road section to be in the same place. It doesn't necessarily have to be at zero, 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 but we do want both those pivot points to be the same. And next step is to uh, make our curve or our path fit our road. So if I press tab, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these two verts because I just want to simplify my path a little bit. So I delete those vertices. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that vert, which is the last vert in the path, and I'm going to move it to the end of my road. So if I just press G and X, I could even potentially snap it. I can just move it to the end of my road like that doesn't have to be precise. Uh, and again, GX for that middle vert, uh, we'll move it to, to roughly the middle of my road. Uh, and here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the first vert uh, in the path, which is actually in negative X space here, but we're gonna press G and X and we're gonna move it. And we'll move it to say a position that isn't uh, at the origin like that. Now, if I press tab to go to object level, I'm going to select on my array of road sections and come over to the modifier tab, and I'm going to add a deform modifier, which is going to be the curve like that. And then if I come over to the curve object rollout, I'm going to click on the dropper. And I think the easiest way of doing this is to go up to the outliner, and I can see my NURBS path in the outliner, and I can just click on it and select it from there. But you can see what's happened 
is that the array has actually moved over to where that first vertice in the NURBS path is. And if I if I just if I go back to the curve modifier and I deselect it, you can see it's jumped back to the origin. So what we could do here, right, is I could select on my NURBS path like that, press tab, I'm going to take that vert there. And if I press, say, shift tab to get snapping on and press G and I, I can move my that first vert in the NURBS path back to the origin like so. Press tab to go to object level, click on my array, pick that NURBS path again. And notice now my geometry hasn't moved at all. And what I can do now is I can go to the outliner and click on the NURBS path, press tab, and I can select the last vert and press G on the keyboard and I can just move it around and my, my road will now deform. Okay, so if I press tab on my keyboard and uh, come out of edit mode, it's important to notice uh, that at the object level, if I have my NURBS path selected and I move my NURBS path, it's gonna do this sort of thing to my road, which is a little bit undesirable. And likewise, if we, if we click on the actual array itself and move the array, it's going to uh, de deform in this manner. There may be situations where this is uh, desirable, uh, but generally it's not. What we could do is we could select both the NURBS plane and the path, uh, and we can, we can move them together. If I switch off snapping, and we don't get that unwanted deformation. Or what I can do is select the NURBS path again, press tab to go into edit mode. And if I select all the verts, I can move those as well by pressing G and I don't get any unwanted deformation. In fact, in this mode, I can also uh, rotate the, the verts and scale. And if I scale it like this and make a, a, a longer path, what I could do at this point is if I come back into object mode, and select on my array, if I come up to the array modifier and look at the fit type, which says fixed count, we can change that to fit curve. And if we select the dropper there and re-pick our path, it will now populate the entire length of the curve or path with pieces instead of having a fixed count.